Are there any children here? And I just felt a presence here when everyone was just walking around. Are you evil? Oh, I send a shiver down my spine. If that was a spirit, could you walk again? Someone's out there. Hello? Who is this? Are you a child? He did, he did. What the f Yeah, I heard that. Whoa! So we're here at the George Jarvis School in Herefordshire. Um, it's a fairly new location for haunted happenings, so we're grateful to Spooktacular for letting us join in and do ghost hunts here. It's got quite a varied history. It was built in 1859 and opened for boarders in 1862. And it was mainly open for um, impoverished families who rather than have to look after loads of kids, they would board their children here. So the children were here from a really young age with no parents and were boarded in the school. Now the school was built with public funding um, and the, it was called George Jarvis because they used the money from um, a guy called George Jarvis who had passed away and left a lot of money to the council the local council, but he specifically said in his will that he didn't want the money used to build a public building. So the school was built against his will. And so they reckon that um, it's, it's sort of not mythology, but it's a, a local belief amongst the locals that George Jarvis actually haunts this building and he walks up and down the central corridor on the ground floor. I've been at the George Jarvis before. Um, I came and actually joined in a seance here um, in this very room. Uh, we used uh, various bits of equipment, um, but we also walked around the school and did a Ouija board upstairs in one of the school areas and had a very, very personal experience on the Ouija board myself uh, with a spirit that had come with me and um, it's just a very, very interesting place. There's lots of little areas that are really quite creepy. Um, and while we were doing the seance in this room, we were hearing lots of strange noises out in the corridor. So uh, me and Natalie investigated, there was nothing there. There was no wind, there was nothing to affect the doors or anything like that. So it was a really, really good night, yeah. So I go as I'm upstairs on my own and I just felt a presence here when everyone was just walking around. So I've obviously sat now because that's just a whale. And I'm just sitting here now. And just before I turned the camera on, I asked if anybody was here, if anybody was in this room. And I had a tap, like something was thrown. I told it that I wasn't going to put the cameras on unless it did something. And then it made a noise. There's a door right in front of me. Knock on it. I'm completely on my own upstairs. I find it quite peaceful to do this kind of stuff. This is my kind of relaxation, meditation. 
I would love it if someone oh, that's a creaky table I'd love it if someone who attended this school way back when was here with us and would speak to us so what I've done is I've put a K2 meter on the table come on show them what you just showed me so make it go to red please Are you scared now? See, <laughs> that went off bad. So, could you say yes is orange? So, do you understand me? Can yes be orange, please? That one's orange. Thank you. I feel like I'm talking to someone now. Is that correct? That's yes. So, if yes is orange, what should no be? Should no be nothing at all? If you want nothing at all, go to orange, please. Simple. It's answered straight away. So, are you a member of this school? Are you just a passing spirit? Are you a person? <laughs> are you evil? Send a shiver down my spine. Could you show yourself to me in this room? Show yourself. Show this evil person. Or if you can't show yourself, then do something evil. Okay, so you was actually filming, you know, while I was going downstairs getting some cinematics, and what was happening, Jay? So you said he was kicking off. So I was in this room. I mean, because I have walked you all guys down here. Oh, so you have kind of done a little tour I've, as I've well. Toured, I've toured this floor. Yeah. We've got the bell for terror down the bottom. Did you say something got thrown at you? So yeah, this is all talk through. So I've walked all the everyone down to there, and as I was on off camera, and you guys were just doing the walk. I sat down on this chair here, but that was there. And it sounded like something thrown from this section yeah. to here. Like a little pebble. Like, yeah. like a, it was like a ting, ting, ting type thing. Now the camera wouldn't have got that because I was just sitting there, just calling out. And I was like flipping out, I better record. Mm. So I started recording, started calling out. Did a walk of the whole building, well the whole of this floor. Walked down to the bell tower, walked all the way past there, and then I came and sat down and set the K2 meter up. And me and the spirit, if it was a spirit or evil, or something evil like it said it was, um, decided that yellow would be yes. If that spirit's still here with me, could you make it go to yes to show the people at home that you were here? See, it's moving. Is it going already? Yeah. Come on then. Come and talk to me again. But yeah, we'll leave that on the table. We do. Have, we have set another <clears> device <throat> now in just in front of the door. 
So we're mail room with a with a fresh new battery. So we shouldn't be on the blink tonight. Um, I want to go in the dark. To be fair. Okay. Should we go in the dark. Well, that's when I was getting my answers as well. Yeah. As we've walked up, so now we can go into full night vision. Yeah, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Steve. I'm here with Griff. This is the first time you've ever investigated this location, this school. A lot of stories of ghosts, of, um, was it George Jarvis? The name, I believe. Of the man. Yeah. So the, so the Who haunts the place, yeah. I think. The common consensus is, by the locals, is that George Jarvis haunts this location yeah. because it was built with his money Without his permission. Without his permission. Yeah, against his will. That's so he, that's why they think he haunts this place. Are you here? Is it you that is angry and is trying to communicate with Griff using the black device that's on this table? If so, could you give us a sign? Whoa. I was over in the a, corner. Bit of a walk, wasn't it? Hello? Whoa. I was over in the corner. Bit of a walk, wasn't it? Whoa. Was it a bit of a, bit of a walk, wasn't it? If that was you, Spirit, who moved in that corner a few moments ago, was it possible to do it again? I'm going to turn my back to you. I'm going to recreate how it just was a second ago. This corner right here. If that was a spirit, could you walk again? We're just here to gather evidence. If you want, we can tell your story. Oh. Okay, so just run off. Do you want to give us a message? Oh my so, God. What is your name? It's gotta be someone. I don't know. It has to be. That was walking right outside the building, outside this door. Hello? Whoa! It's just the door squeaking. I scared the shit out of me. Hello? Hey. Well, there's no one out there. That was clear walking now. That sounded like outside, maybe something coming up the stairs. Yeah. It's gotta be someone. It's gotta be someone. Is that the door? Yeah. If that was you walking, could you do that again, please? We just heard footsteps in this direction. There's no one here that we can see who you know created those noises. No one shouted out when we 
called out if he was anybody. If you would like, you can come and join us in this room. I'm leaving the door open for you. So if you want to come and join us, you're more than welcome. Step into this room. I'm going to close the door now. And hopefully, you are here with us. So, considering this was an old boarding school, is there any children or spirits that come and visit this place due to, you know, some happy memories they could have had here? If so, could you knock for us twice? The two knocks is to represent yes, if that's easier for you. One knock for no. Are there any children here? Or visit this place? Fucking hell. <laughs> that was weird. We'll visit this place. Fucking hell. We'll visit this place. Fucking hell. That was like, that was right next to us. I scared the shit out of me then, dude, when I looked at my own face in the window. Really? <laughs> okay. Backing up a bit. If anybody's here, could you blow this door open again, please? It was like that, were you? Something like that. Like, now, because you're recording it, and this is for the people at home. I'll tell you now, that's an odd door to move. That door right here, this door, feel how heavy that is. Oh, oh yeah. To hold. get it to even do. Well, I was holding it, weren't I, a few moments ago? So from there to there. Yeah. Could you do that again for us, please? So that was that was quite good. He did. He did. What the? F yeah, I heard that. He was like, Tin. "You hear that?" Yeah, yeah. Hello. Could you make that noise for us again, please? That was, that was quite good. You did, you did. What the? Yeah, I heard that. He's like, Tch -tch. That was, that was quite good. You did, you did. What the? Yeah, I heard that. He's like, Tch -tch. We haven't had a name. We've had no names or anything just yet. The infamous ghost tube hasn't said a word. Hasn't said a word at the moment. Hello. Oh <laughs> my god. The tech of the piss, are they? I'm telling you, man. I mean, some people might think we are adding these words in. Not a chance. <laughs> that's amazing, those guys. I said anything? I said nothing for ages. Hello. Man, that's good. That was a moment. <laughs> it's the same as when I tripped up the other day. Be careful. Yeah, 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 it was. <laughs> hello, yeah. hello, spirit. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, I like this room. That's made my night, to be fair. <laughs> coincidence? Probably. More than likely, but again, amazing coincidence. That was good. Really good. So, hello, spirit. My name is Stephen. I'm here with Griff. We've had some interesting things so far. A bit of walking it sounded like. You've just introduced yourself, so you've said hello. What's your name? How are you connected to the building? Did you once visit this school? There's loads of questions we've got for you.
It's way easy, just all the way down the bottom. You'll, um, you'll see it. So you can pass these stairs. And I think it's the first building, first room on the right now. I think that's it. This bit? Yeah. No, no, it's eight. Must be this one, am I? No, they say we've walked past it. Said the man that's done a tour up here. <laughs> Did this one? No, it says Belfry on it. That must be. Close this door then. There it is. So the bell is still in this building, guys. As you can see, there it is. So if you could ring the bell above us. Get us into trouble because we're not allowed to touch the bell. That would be the best evidence ever. Wouldn't it? Definitely. If you could just ring that there. And could the audience please ring Gabba Bell? Ding, ling, 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 ling. Subscribe. It would be amazing if we could get a spirit to touch that. Not just touch it, but obviously. Ring it. Ring it, loud. Be awesome. So that's what we're hoping for, guys. We could do that at any point of the night and we'd be, we'd be grateful. So, where do you want to go? Um, we'll it's back down there, takes us back to that room. Or did you want to go downstairs onto the next floor? We are going to head downstairs. We have investigated this top section for quite a while, to be fair. Griff started the investigation way before, you know, when I was walking around. So I think it's time to move on. We had some interesting things in there. Nothing that I would say is concrete evidence of the paranormal, definitely not. But we're going to some start. Weird stuff, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's been weird stuff. Some fun stuff. We're going to head downstairs, maybe even down into the basement, into the cellar, and see if we can get any kind of activity there. Yeah. Be careful of that step there. Be careful James. of these stairs. To be honest, we're going to have to up these because I reckon these could trip you up. Yeah, all day. Like you're walking down and you go, oh! So we're going to try and find that room with the bow. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> Show it's right there, look. So we're going into the seance room right now. I thought it was over down the corridor. No, here it is. So this is the seance room. We're going to shut the door behind us. Oh, look at that. Oh. It's shut. So we're going to be doing a little thing in here. Obviously, it's kitted out with pictures of old... Um, old seances and stuff. Yep. Okay. So here we are in the dark in the seance room. Um, probably the most themed room of the entire building. It's the only room. So let's say it's got <laughs> the pictures of the old sciences back in the day. We've got a few Ouija boards on the table. I've just put the mail room. Um, we've got a lovely collection of dolls, haunted dolls, maybe. Like standing here and looking, this this feels like the only room that doesn't feel like it's part of the building. Yeah. If in a way, it makes me feel like I'm a thirty-nine degree street. <laughs> <laughs> the front room, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. It really does. If you can see your spirit, could you knock how many people you can see in this room? So if, if you can see one person, knock once, twice, three, four, however many people you see, could you please let us know?
if that's too hard for you, we've got another device here. We call it the ghost tube. You pick out a random word so it can be a number. If that's easier, We call it the ghost tube. You pick out a random word so it can be a number. We call it the ghost tube. You pick out a random word so it can be a number. If that's easy for you to just pick out a random number, again of the amount of people you see in this room, then you can use that. There's something close to that, and we call that a mail rem. Again, it's another little black box with a little metal aerial coming out the top. Touch that a few times of how many people you can see. And we can start the conversation using any of these devices that you find is the most easiest to use. Oh, okay, so we're using the K2. Is that the most easiest one? That just flickered once. So if you want to use that one, that's, that's perfectly fine with me and Griff. So we'll use that one for now. How many people can you see in this room? Could you respond? When you hear the number, is there two people in this room? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, usually we ain't too impressed with the caters, but Jesus. But it's been good today. That, that, that was good, that's good. Okay, keep that going then, Jace. Is this the evil spirit? Have you followed me downstairs? Or have you followed us? It's followed us. It's followed us. It's a shame that you can't ask us any questions, isn't it? Seems that you can only answer them. Can you make it go to red once, please? Just so I know that it's an intelligent person talking to us. Make it go to red and hold it there for a second. Did it go to red? <laughs> Can you hold it longer, please? The night vision, I'm very good at picking it up. Should we go in the light then, just for this bit? Yeah, just for a little bit, I think. Put it on number 10 then. Yeah. Can you see better now? That's much better. Did you prefer the dark? If you prefer it in the light and now you can actually see us, could you use that device? To tell us that you... Okay, so now they can actually see us in the light, Jace. No. Yep. We've been wasting all these years in being in night vision. Way forward is the light. Is that right? Did you get to the other? Purgatory. Are they trapped in purgatory? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Is this, is the world we live in hell? We're on our way. <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing. Repent your sins, ladies and gentlemen, get into church. So most of the night is consisting of pretty cool K2 activity. Yeah, e a lot of evilness. Yeah. Or I'm just saying questions right on cue of when it's going to go off. Okay, shall we be... 
Okay, let's not ask a question then. Yeah. For a, um, a minute. And see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to of this. Just a, a you know, non-moving K2. Because he's ain't going to move. Hold on. Don't say that. Because he could be thinking that's a question. So let's not say a thing. Hello? Anything from the K2? No. Home. Oh. I've left that long enough, I reckon. Is God real, spirit? Whoa, was that you? I don't know, it could have been. It was a one knock. We've been asking one knock for now, two for yes. So I asked. Oh. Whoa. Could, could have been void ration, maybe? But... From what? I didn't, he, I didn't even touch the, tele the, the table. Okay, hello. Holy shit. I didn't even touch the table, Jace. So, okay, so now we're getting some male rim action. Now this is pretty interesting. That hasn't gone off for us for a while. Was you touching this device then? That's in my hand. This was just going crazy. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna put it on the table. And as you can see, guys, your vibration doesn't set it off. As Griff just thought, you know, maybe- Of course it might have knocked the table. Yeah. But as you can see, look, he's- Nothing. Did you just give us a sign, or do you fancy playing with their um, <laughs> fancy playing with their toy? They have a little black box. Our, an our antenna. <laughs> so no, this is a school. These aren't the jokes we should be using. Well, all I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen, around is that we asked about. Because it seems like the spirit's gone. There's no, we haven't really had any activity on the K2 since we asked it to stop. And the responses that we did get, just think about it. We said, all right, we'll stop asking questions. And as soon as we stop asking questions, the K2 meter hasn't even gone off once. It's tried to ask more questions, but it's completely dead now. So I'm presuming that the spirit's had enough and he's walked off. Yeah. All right, then let's go. You head us down to the basement. I don't know where the basement is, Stay. I never did the walk around. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I didn't. <laughs> you did more of a walk around than me. I haven't All right, then. So, spirits, follow us if you are in this room. Shut the door behind us. Well, that was loud. Happened. Didn't you just hear it? It was like a boom. Like a proper loud knock. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just you walking on no. the floorboard. I went like this, and I walked, and it was like something went... Boom. Yeah, I heard on that. On the door.
we've had some pretty interesting things so far, especially in that science room. We're not sure if something is possibly following us around this location. If you are, could you give me a sign? Or give us a sign, I should say. I just stay. <laughs> give us all the sign. Are you in this room with us? Yeah, I can see it. Who is this? Are you a child? Are you George Jarvis? Are you the evil spirit? Oh, that's good then. So it has, it has, it has stopped. Are you a good spirit? Okay. Is it at all possible that you could move the crib that the doll is in? Could you rock it from side to side, please? That'd be absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's no strings, there's nothing connected. I'll step back a bit. Could you move that? I know we're asking for a lot. Okay, that's the end of the investigation at St. Jarvis School. It's been amazing, absolutely incredible to hang out with Haunted Happenings yet again. Amazing guys, always a blast. Um, met some fans as well. A that's, lot of fans today. Yeah, it was really cool. Obviously, go check out Haunted Happenings if you want to go on a ghost hunt, and you could uh, meet me and Griff. I mean, you know, if you want to, you don't have to. But I mean, a lot of people were as interested today, so you might feel the same. It was a great location, it was a good place, um, some interesting things, can't wait to come back here. I think we've, we should actually come back again and maybe even just have it where it's just ourselves as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I'm done, my arm's done and three days of investigations of, uh, is all finished and done and now we're going to do another one in a day. So I've got to point the camera because I'm done. Any words? Yeah. If the light's too bright, turn it off. <laughs> nice.